subscribe to the YouTube channel. So this class will be learning how to make this beautiful basque off shoulder bossier blouse with side peplum. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is an off shoulder body. So I'm going up by six inches because that's how half I want it to be so you can go up by whatever inches that you want and you can see that I placed my I started my measurement from the 6 inches so this is my ham hole line, my bust point, my under bust and my waist line so the next thing I to take my bust here that my bust pan is 8 inches where by 2 is 4 so I'm going to mark the 4 from my center fold and then I'm going to make that into a straight line so to take my bust here that I'm going to take 1 inch on both sides of that straight line on my under bust line as well as the waistline and i'm also going to do this on this upper part okay that's my starting point to tighten the upper part so i'm taking one inch for all of them you can also take half an inch for the one on the upper part as well i want this to be a little bit so that's why i'm taking that so after really needs downwards i'm going to use the curved side of my ruler to connect this to my bust point on both sides as we have seen so after connecting it I'm going to link it from my bust point as well to this one inch mark so I'm just using the slightly cut side of my ruler and I'm making sure to blend it in very well okay so the that is taken now the next thing is to take my circumference measurements the bust I'm working with is 40 inches right by 4 is 10 so here I have about 3.75. I'm just going to shift the my, the tape so that my that is not going to affect my measurement. And then I'm going to mark my 10 inches here. My waist is 28 divided by 4 is 7. So I have 3 here. I'm just going to shift again. And then I have my 7 inches. So I had my seam allowance. And then I'm going to connect the measurements together. Okay, so now to create my ham O line, I'm going to you can measure your across chest measurement, but I don't want this to be too off on this side, so I'm just going to be taking five inches. So I have three inches here already. I'm just going to shift because of the that, and then I'm going to measure five inches here. So now the five inches I'm going to connect it using my ruler in a curved way so that I can create my small arm O curve, and that is how you create your bust here. That so this is a basque bodies okay so what i'm going to do from my waistline i'm going to continue my measurement my waist is actually 18 so now i'm going to take my hip line measurements my hip line is 26 inches so i have the 20 i have the 26 inches line so this is the length that i'm going to be working with for the front of my bodies okay the back is going to stop at the waistline but the front is going to get to the to the hip length because there is a basque effect in front so again i'm going to extend my dart as well to that new length okay so you can see me drawing my dart downwards and i'm going to take my under bust my bust dart so from my bust point so i'll go down by two inches for my under bust for my bust dart and then i'll connect that to my bust point as well so now so that to to connect this basque effect i'm going to close this dart first so i'm folding the dart you can see me folding it on top of each other like this then after folding it i'm going to bring in my third ruler and then connect like this for my basque waistline so i'm connecting from my waistline to my hip line okay so now that i have this this is what I have for my front. So now I'll move straight to the back. So for the back, the back is simple. The same way I go, I went off by six inches for the front. I'm going to go off by six inches for the back as well. And then I'm going to mark my ham hole line as well as my waistline. My waistline for the back is 16 inches. Okay. You can see that the waistline is different. So by the time I close my two inches bust that for the front, my front waistline will also match with my back my back waistline. So again I have my zipper allowance and I've taken my that. So for my bust here, my bust is 10 inches and then I'm going to add my seam allowance to that. 
and then my waist is seven inches so i'll add some allowance to that as well and then i'm going to connect them together so the same five inches that i took for the upper part of the front that's what i'm taking for the upper part of the back as well and then i'm going to use my curved ruler to connect for my armhole so this is what i have so you can leave your neckline like this for the back or you can just make it a bit lower by going down a bit and then you reconnect it to where your armhole line starts so this is the neckline i'm working with for the back so now i'm going to cut my pattern pieces now and then i'll transfer it to my fabric so for the front i'm going to close this boss that okay and then i'm going to cut off all of these that that i created as well so you can also shape your front neckline anyhow you want so my pattern pieces are cut now these are the two front bodies okay and this is my basket line so if you match it together now you can see that it's just aligned and this is my back so for the back as well i've closed my bust that so you can see that their side seam now are exactly the same so i'll go ahead and cut this on my fabric and then we'll start to sew so i've cut this out of my fabric this is the center front the side front and i added necessary allowance as you can see so now i'm going to sew them together like this and this is the back as well so for the back i did not slash it open so i just need to hold my that then i'm going to place the front and back on each other and sew them on the side seam then i'll bring it back to show us how we're going to hide the peplum okay so now i've gone ahead to sew them together i can see that i just i joined my dart area and then i joined it on this side so this is what i have so now this is the exact same way you're going to prepare your lining you cut the same way and sew the same way then you use it to turn out each other before you had the peplum okay so this is just for a tutorial so i'm not going to be fixing a lining to this so i already have this the next thing now is to measure what i have on my side on each side okay so for the first one i'm just going to measure it you just need to measure one then you're going to use it for the other one so now i'm measuring from the center back as you have seen and then i'm measuring towards the front area including the curve that i have and i have about 19 inches so these 19 inches because they are going to be pleats i'm going to multiply it by i can make it 20 inches then multiply that by three because i really want it to be full so 20 multiplied by three is going to give it 60 inches so now if you have enough fabric you can actually cut this in form of a flare okay if you are cutting the form of a flare all you just need to do is to divide the 60 inches by 6.28 for a full flare or 3.14 for for a half circle flare but you can also cut it in a straight form so you just cut your 60 inches in form of a straight fabric but a peplum will a flare will really be nice if you have enough fabric for it so i'm going to be cutting mine in the form of a full flare which means i'm dividing the 60 inches by 6.28 and then the length that i'm going to be using for this peplum is the length that i need to complete my blouse remember we stopped our length for the front around 18 inches that's the half length so whatever blouse length that you work with between 24 to 25 that's why i work with so my length is going to be around six to seven inches for my peplum so now i'll cut the peplum i'm going to fuse my interfacing to it and then bring it to show us what we have okay so i've cut my peplum now and like i said you can see that i've already fused my interfacing then i cut two for each one for main fabric and one for the lining and then i use them to turn out each other and then i press this well so this is the first peplum and this is the second peplum so like i was explaining this took about two and a half yards to cut because i'm using the same fabric as the main bodies and the lining so the the flare is going to consume more fabric <laughs> depending on the amount of fabric you are willing to work with okay so if you don't want to use this much fabric and just cut it in straight form so you just have a fabric of 16 inches in length and then the seven inches or whatever it is that you need to complete the full length of your blouse so i have mine like this the next thing I is to go ahead and sew this to my side so now as i am going i'm going to be adding pleats to this okay 
so i'm going to start by just pinning it first to see what i have so this is the first one you can see then i'm going to pin it and then i'm going to be i'm going to start adding my inverted plate okay so for me to have the same thing uniform thing on both sides you can just place them on each other like this and then you notch the areas where you want your plates to be so because you don't want to have one place on one side and then the other side is not going to be having place on the exact same way so you just make sure that you match them together and then you can place your notches where you want your plate so i'm going to pin my plate to see what it looks like first before i go ahead to sew it okay so I'm going to be adding my dart. So I've pinned one side. I'm only left with the other side. So I'm adding the inverted plate on my. Let me show you with the one I've not pinned. I'm going to add it where I have my back dart, the side seam, and the front dart. So I have added to this side. Let me turn it to the other side. You can see with my inverted plate, and then I pinned it before I go ahead to sew. So what I've done on this side now, this is the other side. I'm going to go ahead and pin it on this other side as well. Then I'll go and sew. So for me, I think multiplying by three was a little too much because I had it in excess. But if you want it to be really voluminous, you can multiply this 19 inches measurement that we approximated to 20 that I took from the center front of the center back. I multiply them by 3 to get 60. So you can just do by 2 or 2.5 if you don't want it to be this voluminous. So I'll pin this other side as well and then I'm going to sew it then bring it back to show us what we have. So I have sewn it to the two sides and this is what I have. You can see what we have here and these are my inverted plates. So the next thing you need to do now is to go ahead and iron this properly and then you fix whatever sleeve you want, whatever off shoulder sleeve. So the one on the thumbnail is, a, is an off shoulder gong sleeve. So if you want a tutorial on that particular sleeve, you can let me know in the comment section and I'll make a video on how to make the sleeve. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so this is what the blouse looks like you can see our neckline so you can choose any neckline of your choice and this is the basque effect that we created and the peplum we added by this side so you just need to iron this very properly and you're good to go so this is what the full view look like i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial and like i said if you want a tutorial on the gong sleeve as well let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next one bye